this complicated. So all of the processed food that you see in the supermarket shelf, a food technologist would have helped develop those. Food technology uses science and engineering to help develop convenient and tasty foods that are safe, nutritious and healthy. When I go into the supermarket and I see a product that I've helped develop on the shelf, it's really, really exciting, you know. At high school in year 13, I took English, chemistry, physics, maths with stats and maths with calculus. My careers counsellor came to me and said, I just got this information through about this food technology degree from Massey and I think, you know, you'd be really good for it. And I thought to myself, I quite like food, that sounds like me. So off I went the next year and that's what I did. I went to Massey University and did the four year Bachelor of Technology degree, majoring in food technology. I came straight out of university and started working at Wadi. The first thing we do when we start a new project is we get a brief from marketing. Then we go ahead and develop the recipe for that product, decide how we're going to make the product in the factory, and then we take it into the pilot plant, do some pilot plant trials. The best part of the job is that no two days are ever the same, and you get to work with a whole variety of different people, people from you know, guys on the production floor, through to management, through to marketing people, through to ingredient suppliers, and customers as well. Heinz Waddies is a great company to work for, and there's so many opportunities for food technologists. You can never, ever get bored in a job like this. Um, I work in the product development team. In the product development team, there's about 35 food technologists, um, but there's also many other areas of the business that food technologists can work in as well. The prospects for food technologists in New Zealand are really good. Um, almost before you leave university, you can have a job if you want it. You could be working on chocolate, ice cream, biscuits, snack food, the list is endless. You've got to have strong problem solving skills, you've got to be determined to be successful, you've got to be creative, and you've also got to be practical. Uh, the sky's the limit, really. Um, you can work in almost any area of food production, from being a PD technologist to being a CEO of a company, to being an entrepreneur and running your own food company. Worldwide, there's a shortage of food technologists, so there's opportunities in basically every single country. My advice to school students would be to keep studying your maths and sciences, because that's really important if you want to become a food technologist.